So welcome back to Finnegan's Farm and welcome back to the YouTube channel. <laughs> so in today's video you can see the 7 8 20 there, Gimler her plenty. We've the brand new harvester in for the beetroot. We've John B, he kicked that out of the seat there. Myself and John B will go through topping of the beetroot and harvesting them. So yeah, stay tuned. So myself and the famous John B in the famous 6910 have arrived in the beetroot field. So John has his instrument here on the back and uh, we're just going to try it out for the first time. We don't know how this is going to go, so let's just go with the flow, John. Best of luck. I'll show you from behind now what happens. So we need to chop the leaves off the top of the plant to woke up the harvester. So that's why all the flails are in the bottom. And that's as much as I know so far. Oh jeez, they're moving. And I'd imagine with this bit of an auger or something, the leaves are going to be flying out here. That's why I didn't stand this side. Drop it a bit if you want. Get a beetroot mash here fairly quick, I'd say. Yes, yeah, so there's two hydraulic rams there, but he can let down his left and right wheel as he pleases, whatever he thinks. Now he has it. What are you thinking? Oh, look. Huh? PTO. Oh, she's at an angle. Shorten that top link a bit. Oh. Try that now. PTO is going to start. Yeah, it's already going to change, is it? Probably never on a tractor with high wheels like this before. The 6910 looking well, may I say. 3350. 3350 would be right. But it could get it down like the Titanic around. out here. Wheels are wrong. Oh, yeah. That's a right job there. It's a long one. Oh yeah lads, what do you think of my new wellies? So I got these wellies in Clarks and Navin. Are they size 9 cattle? Yeah, show us them here. See what they're like. <laughs> oh, they look at comfy boots that they do. What do you think of them cattle? Which is not bad. I like them now, they're very comfy. Let's see how the cows like them. Huh? So I'm gonna just get a pair of them, please. And I have Dad and Chris Kindle, so I'll just get them as well. Oh, he'd be he'd be happy with them he'd be for Christmas. With them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep keep the feet warm exactly. when he's in the fields. Exactly. Thanks, being Carl. Thanks, Best of and happy Christmas. Thank you, Adam. See you, Toby. I went in there. It's such variety stuff. I went in for wellies, obviously, but they also do hay for hunting gear. I bought a gun in there before. Um, they have rugby gear. I show you stuff on the wall there now. So. Yeah, they also have a great online store, that's what he said most of the sales are done, so just head across to that, just look up the sports then have it, and yeah, check them out, they're, they're run the smooth operation. Even John's 35 years experience, I don't think he's ever experienced Peter. So that is run number uno complete. It's probably not just cleaning them off as well, I don't know what I'm meant to be looking for here, because I've never experienced this before, so... Uh, we might find out in a while, but for the minute, I don't think it's doing that bad of a job. Like, see these two here. Like, you don't want to go too low, because if you cut into that, the plant will start bleeding. What do you think, John Boy? Um, yeah, it's places it's tipping the top of them and other places and also I don't think you can go much lower, can you? No. 
I don't know if the blades or the flail is sharp enough, like it's even. Well, they know, but they're only rubber. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can't sharpen them, really, can you? No. No, you can't. <laughs> I just don't know what we're really looking for here, and I don't think. Don't know, don't whether mm -hmm. anyone knows. No. <laughs> the ground is not bad. The ground is holding up. Like, that was a tramline run, so yeah. it should be heavier than, or harder than the rest. But I think all we do is go up to the top again, and that's we can see what. Yeah, we'll do another run and see what happens. Yeah. Right. Might go a bit. Uh, more speed on the PTO or something. John, whatever you think, you are the man. Alright yeah. John, see you've done your four runs nearly. What's yeah. the verdict? <laughs> I, I think you've mastered it already, have you? Yeah, I think so, Carl. Uh, I'm, ne I'm nearly sure of it now. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. There's actually no thinking, it's just yeah. guaranteed. It's, uh, it seems to be working okay, you won't do much better. Well, I won't, anyway. <laughs> The harvester man now is the one we have to please. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, we get the real boss down. To yeah. Side. We can only do what we can do. Yeah. First run now didn't go well. We thought it was going well, but then actually didn't. When we when we reset it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went that bit better. It's doing a better job there now. The work that machine, you, you can just adjust the two wheels. You can lift it up and down either yeah. side, or yeah. if you're on the hill, or. You can control your depth there yeah, and then your, your trolleys and... There's no bother working it. <laughs> Looks good enough, I'll get out here and then we'll have a look. Quit me new wellies. Oh jeez John, you're fairly getting nice and low there. Oh mama, see that? Chasing and bleeding. Now that's the job. Now what happened this one? He's not going to make it. So if you can remember back to when we planted, there's four runs here. John actually planted them as well, first time doing that. So he's the man. Now, John, I don't know how you planted them because there seems to be too many there, for my liking. We'll get Dad now to decide do we need to do more, do we need to do less, or what's the story? Cheers, hey John, that's some lump of scotter. Not very nice, that, is it? No. At least it's out here, out of the way. You brought one of your little friends. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, so, you can see it working here. The, I've been informed they're rubber flails, are they John? Rubber flails, yeah. And they're going to get any other way, just catching the yeah. top of the leaves and yeah, pulling them up. up. And it should come out this way, but it should, doesn't but seem to be... It's hardly meant to be going any quicker though. I wouldn't like to be driving it much quicker. No. John, do you want to thank someone for getting that jacket for you? Uh, maybe we should Cecil there now and over in Grimmy there. Giving him a jacket. Yeah, Where do you get good jackets. I will settle now. I'm promised this about three years. Oh, you know, well, so then I might put an order now and I'll get it. You get it in three years' time, mm. yeah. You'd Very never good. know now, it's actually could come over tomorrow now. You can give you a jacket? Yeah, Grimmy Ireland, you know yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Another man we have to thank as well. Who are you thinking? Johnny Guy. Oh, yeah, Johnny. Johnny gave us the lend of the topper here because we don't have one of our own. No, so we have the harvest, so we just need the topper. So thanks, Johnny, for that. Yeah, yeah, for the big boss and his big machine to come in now and see what he thinks. Probably plowed him over. Yeah. Right, we'll catch you then. Um, John, just a quick question now. Yes, Carl. <laughs> Why are these planted so close together? Um, they're meant to be that close, but something went wrong there, I think. <laughs> what would you think? I don't know, John. <laughs> There's a few see, too many there. You see, we needed baby with beet roots and large Oh, ones, yeah, yeah, so yeah, okay. We're good thinking yeah, in you're that You're going system. for size. Yeah. And then what? You're going for families over here. These yeah, are the family packs. Yeah, bigger ones there. Like, you know, you have to think ahead. The mammy, the mammy daddy, and, the, and yeah. the son and two daughters. Yeah. The twins are here. The tw <laughs> Kevin Shannon and Rob Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> two boys are there. <laughs> Yeah, so, well, look, we'll see what size comes out of them. And be some there, yeah, there's plenty there. There's plenty, <laughs> there's certainly that, anyway. Mm. So, as we set up, 
to harvest our first beetroot ever. Lucky we didn't do any more than four because there was a fair frost last night. We have the paw lad ready to go. Just need a bit of adjustments here now. So finally, the boss has arrived now and we have the harvester in the field. We've dug a section here. It's slow digging, but we've, we've started. Yeah, we're on, we're, we're on the, in the field and that's the main thing. <laughs> and we are harvesting now. Yeah, it is slow. Conditions have been a little bit difficult now the last couple of days. Good bit of frost has kind of come and it's been very cold and it's kind of coming up in little bits of slabs there but look if we don't dig them now we'll, we'll, never, dig them. we'll never dig them so we want to kind of dig it now i mean it's still the beetroot in fact they're only kind of top of the ground so you're not actually digging that deep you just have to get underneath them as just you a bleeding. See, uh, bleeding there yeah I and mean, that's that's what they do so we've topped them there they're all topped and we'll dig them now they are dirty and they will be dirty but if we put them into the boxes and Let hopefully that should, should might dry them out there in the next well it might probably take a couple of weeks to dry them out so I'm going to hop into the harvest here John B is my relief driver there at lunchtime no, John B is the main driver he's the main man you know he's he, he actually he's done everything with this beat to be yeah, fair yeah well he's he's uh, planted he's sold. them sold them planted them destoned them, them. them. I, yeah. I ridged them he destoned them he planted them uh, Hubble sprayed them and John now is he topped them and now he's harvesting them. Yeah, it's not been quite ideal. We would have probably liked to harvest them a little bit earlier and they're probably, uh, you know, we have probably got our planting distance wrong a little bit and that's... Yeah, they're planted too close they're so too they're too smaller, close, yeah, so and they're smaller, smaller. Yeah, so they're probably, we should have been really harvesting these about three or four weeks ago when it was better weather conditions and... But anyway, that's how you live and learn. That's, that's life yeah. as, a, as a grower, so... Look, we'll, we'll probably do a it's little bit It's our first different. year, so you're not going to yeah. get it right. We're going to do a little bit different next year, but at the minute here, it's quite soft. The taw is on, and it's neither dry or wet. It's just sticky. That's all yeah. it's been. But how many new boots on me now? Yeah. And I'm flying along on them here. <laughs> so we're here with the shiny new equipment, our beet harvester. So just to explain the harvester here, it, uh, it's a different here that it runs on these fingers here. These fingers kind of control the depth of where the share is and then on the front of it then we have these these closers so we come to the head then and we lift up the share they close down and they trap in any beetroot that might fall out of it so they are a great job again where web speeds everything is going up the web onto the cleaners in the back and the cleaners will generally be in a transfer position as if they'll be pushing the crop on we don't want them to be pulling at the beetroot and pulling the tops off them so a good bit of agitation on here obviously because of weather conditions and the soil being so heavy and, and wet but apart from that it's it's just going to be a slow operation but i think john is happy enough and uh, it looks to be john's well, loving life in there yeah so we'll go back to harvester here we'll see. look here at the back then we can see the beetroot then being transferred down the harvester with some very very good sized ones and middle of the road which is not bad and then there's obviously these little small ones here, so we're kind of, we really would prefer them if they're all this size, wood hand size, but that's just the way they grew. So up the top then, we have an inspection up to the top where we can pick off, but we don't have anyone on it there today. We're just going to bring them back to the, to the plant there, just put them into the boxes, put them into the store, let them dry out, and in a couple of weeks we'll re-run them again. So although it is very wet conditions here, very sticky conditions, the machine runs in two tracks, and as you can see, it doesn't leave a whole lot of a footprint behind it for such a heavy machine. Actually, sliding across the ground there fairly well. I mean, it is sticky, stuck to my boots here, and it leaves the field just nice and nice and level after. So we're digging the beat, the root right there. We're just kind of looking down to see has he only left behind him. We have a spade there just for checking to see if there's any fallen in. Well, Johnny, you've done many a crop in your time, but I wouldn't say you've ever dug beaver, have you? Never, never got near it before. Big enough? Off the plate, that was it. Off the plate, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. The first time for everything. Yeah, yeah. Look at it, it's, it's harvest, is harvest, I suppose. It's all about machines and operating them. <laughs> That's Slightly it. set up a bit, little bit different. And you'd be always used to digging them out today, isn't Yeah, you? yeah, the small one. Huh? <laughs> a bit smaller than them. Yeah, so on the front here, uh, we've no Diablos that we have just these little rakes and they can do your depth control, don't they? Yeah, the, uh, the paddles there, yeah, yeah, the two paddles. And then after that then we just have the closest there for when we lift it at the end. It stops on. It stops on that. Yeah. Yeah. Apart yeah. from that, the cleaners are set up there, we can see the cleaners walking away. 
and they are hard at work today because conditions have been just not so favourable there. It's no. been very, very sticky. It's, uh, it's, um, just, it's just damp and, and sticky. And yeah, they're not coming out too clean. But look, we're going to put them into the boxes. Why can't you there let them dry out? Yeah, the harvest is going well. Yeah, no, ba yeah, no bother. No. Yeah, no yeah. bother. It's uh, nice yeah. comfortable machine, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great vision out of it there. These photos are some good. Ah, they're a great job. Great job, and it's on the tracks there as well. So. I see yeah. you'd be happy over here, wouldn't you? No, yeah, yeah. dig away. Yeah, it looks a business here, doesn't it? I mean, creamy jacket and all. Well sponsored there today, so he is really. <laughs> that's, hey, that's the dearest jacket you'll ever buy it, hey, that much. So, here a few of the boxes that I just brought home there. Charlie and Thomas are drawn today. We'll uh, let them dry out there. The muck will go hard. We'll put it through the grader and it will just fall off it. So, that's the plan. So, don't forget to like. Please subscribe to the video. It's all just helping boosting our channel. And uh, yeah, comment what you think of our beetroot and if you have any tips because I think we need some of them. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you all next week. Good luck.